What's up everybody, Mike McIntyre here back with a brand new video. In front of me I have a pair of Adidas Predator 18 Plus in the brand new World Cup Collection colorway. This video is going to be quite quick. If you are interested in more detail, be sure to check out the eye in the right hand corner. I'll leave links there to other more detailed videos. This one we're just going to get in and out of the box really quickly and show you what these are all about. The Predator 18 Plus comes in a really fancy box. To be honest, you get this whole sort of unique packaging. It opens up with uh, you know the shoes that sort of pop out for you at the front. Anyways, we'll just get these suckers out of the box, show you the extras, and toss this destroyed box, to be honest, off to the side. So the Predator 18 Plus does come with a few extras. I'll just show them off quickly individually. So you do get a pair of extra insoles. Those are inside right there. You do get a rather large shoehorn. Again, I've showed these off before. Go check out the other videos. This one does have the stitch down the middle to separate the left and right compartments. String bag, Adidas branding right here. String bag has a Predator branding right there. Black strings, mesh, perforations throughout, yada, yada, yada. The Predator 18 Plus is essentially the exact same thing as the 18.1. Some people think it is basically a pure control continuation, but the reality is given the nature of the upper and given the nature of the whole Predator series sort of coming back, it is quite different. Yes, it still has that laceless characteristic from the pure control that was introduced to us back in 2016, but other than that, it's pretty much a brand new boot. Starting with colorway, of course, this is just a very loud colorway. You've got this sort of yellow base, very reminiscent of the 98 Predator Manias. This sort of highlighter solar yellow base, black stripes over here, a black prime knit collar. You have a very good looking sole plate back here and the sort of detailing back there. So the whole sort of colorway does come together quite nicely. I do like the way it looks. If I compare the sole plate to the 18.1, I do find that the 18.1 model looks really, really cheap in my opinion. The bottom one down here is the laceless model. This one just looks so much better. This 18.1, the laced version, just looks really, really cheap in my opinion. I don't think it sort of shows off the quality of the boot as much. I think they should have gone something like that, even on the 18.1 model, but such is life. So the 18 plus model is the laceless configuration of the Predator. It has the same general characteristics as the 18.1. You do have a control skate upper with a very, very very soft, flexible upper material. One of the softest uppers I've ever felt from right out of the box. It's very, very good. I do like the way they've engineered the prime knit to sort of fit in with these ridges over here. They do offer a very nice feel on the ball. I do like the instep here. It reminds me of old pass pads. And I do like these elements in the front. They remind me of old Predator elements from way back in the early 2000s. The sock-like collar is nothing new. It's a unique shape, I've, ha I've said this before, but it actually fits the ankle quite anatomically well. It's got an external heel counter this time around with a control frame uh, sole plate right here. The studs, they're not quite conical, but they are allowing you to pivot still. They do have some sort of rigid edges. They're a very unique shape. And one thing that they have done differently is they sort of eliminated the cutout that they had here to show off the boost on previous Predator models. This was a clear area right here. So you could see the actual boost material on the bottom of the sole plate itself. I suppose we can talk quickly about the differences between this model and the 18.1. The only difference is, of course, the laces. So the upper is still extremely soft. I'm not sure how Adidas managed to make this upper as soft as the 18.1, given that there are no laces. So uh, lockdown is quite good, but if you do want the best lockdown, if you do really, really care about performance and responsiveness, just go for the 18.1. You really can't replace laces. I have worn laces models in the past and I am actually a fan of them but I will 100% admit that laces are going to give you a more responsive and a better lockdown fit. One thing that the Adidas Predator 18 Plus does come with that the 18.1 does not is these uh, boost insoles right here. So you do get two pairs of insoles with the 18 Plus version. This one that comes in the shoe is the stock insole. It's got a thin layer of boost material on the bottom with a very nice felt suede sort of covering on top. So it's a very nice insole. You don't get that in the 18.1. And other than that, they are basically the same thing. So stay tuned. I'm going to slip these guys on feet and we're going to talk quickly about how they fit and feel. So from right out of the box, the 18 Plus is a very good looking and very comfortable shoe. I like looking down on my own feet. I think the model looks really, really good. The laces version does offer you a very comfortable fit, at least for my foot type. I get into them really, really well. Given that I have a wider foot, I actually fill this boot in quite nicely. So I don't feel like my foot's sliding around or anything like that. If you do have a narrower foot, I'm not sure the laceless model will feel the same on your foot as it feels on mine. So I find the boot really, really comfortable. I would go true to size 100% through Adidas. They fit well. There's never any 
sort of game with their sizing and they always fit well. They're super comfortable. I really can't stress enough how comfortable the upper is. And that is pretty much it for the on-feed portion of the video. Again, if you want ultimate performance and ultimate lockdown, just get the 18.1. There's no denying that laces will give you a better fit in terms of responsiveness. Again, this sort of clean striking surface, uh, the lockdown it provides the look, the comfort, everything is wrapped into a very, very solid package here with the Predator 18 Plus. And you could probably just throw on a pair of true socks or get in some sort of uh, Storelli grip insole. And if you slide that into this model, I am fairly convinced that you're going to get a very, very good performing boot without laces. So if you are interested in getting a pair for yourselves, you just really need to decide if you want a laceless model, if you really care about having no laces, or you just care about a lockdown fit. If that is the case, go for the 18.1 and you won't be sorry. So that is pretty much it, guys. I'm Mike McIntyre from All Things Sports. Stay tuned to the World Cup. Stay tuned to the channel. I'm going to have a lot of great content going on. Hit the subscribe button. You know you want to be a part of it. And until then, I'm signing off for now. I'll see you next time. Take care.